Hey guys, it's Chris here, and this is actually going to be a pretty short video, and I'm just sharing and uh, making this video about just one thing, and that is how I make bulk lists for tactical arbitrage. So using bulk lists for tactical arbitrage is the best way to really turbocharge tactical arbitrage. You're going to find so much more stuff, you're going to be able to run your scans longer. It just, I think it's what really makes professional people professional when it comes to tactical arbitrage. And what I'm going to show in this video is not only how to make a uh, bulk list, but how to make one a little bit differently than how they're normally done. So normally with a bulk list, um, it is a CSV file. You make it using uh, Excel. There's all sorts of information on how to actually make a bulk list within tactical arbitrage. So I'm not going to really cover the traditional way. I'm just going to cover my special way. But the, um, the way you normally would do it is you just put your categories in the start and stop page and send that over to tactical arbitrage. Well, there's actually a better way. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You're going to get to watch me over my shoulder, see how it's done and uh, hopefully learn something and hopefully find some more stuff with tactical arbitrage. So let's get right into the technique. Okay guys. So let's get into the nitty gritty of how to do this. We're going to make a bulk list here from scratch. Now we only need really uh, two things. We need sites we want to search and there's a game sale going on at Target right now. So I want to search all of their game categories. Uh, so I have these all open. These are all, all of these tabs are going to be made into the bulk list. Okay. And then over here we need the bulk list uh, that we're going to make. Now there is a, um, a template for this, but I don't use the template. Um, I'm that much of a bad butt. Uh, all you really need is cat start and end. If you're going to do this multi-domain, then add the column domain, but that's not even needed uh, unless you're doing it multi-domains. By the way, this method does work multi-domain. I'm just not making a bulk list that's multi-domain right now. So just modify this method a little bit if you decide to do that. Now, if you've never used target and tactical arbitrage, you will, if you have in the, the past, you will know that what you do is you need these, uh, whatever these are called, and I call them end numbers, even though they do have letters. So the very first thing I'm going to do, and I'm not going to talk while I do this because I'm going to fast forward through it, I'm going to go through and grab the end numbers for all of these tabs. Okay, so now we got this. We have. Um, it looks like 13 categories here. Now, one of the things that we need to realize about these categories is this category I'm looking at right now, whatever this is, it's got 20, almost 2,300 results. Then this category, we only have 250 results. Now, the way that normally people would do this, so this would be the SGMJY, is they would go, okay, I'm gonna start on number one, and then, uh, so target has 25 results per page. So I need to do 11 pages and that's the entire category, but we actually don't care about that. See, we are going to be mm, kind of using tactical arbitrage built in, um, fail safes where they will actually go in. And if we tell it to scan something that doesn't exist, it just goes to the next line. So what we do here. And this is how I make this bulk list. I start on page one, always on page one, and I just drag this. Okay. And I'm going to end these on page three. Now that number is arbitrary. Okay. You could end it on page two. You could end it on page five, whatever. It doesn't matter. Then we copy and paste it down the next uh, row. We're going to start. So we got to start on page four or one plus the number we ended the last search on, okay? So we go through just like that. And let's go up to eight. Again, arbitrary number, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so now what this is going to do is it's going to go on this category. It is going to search the first three pages and then stop. Next category, first three pages, then stop. First three pages, then stop. So then it's gonna show us results very quickly. I've always believed that the best results you find from tactical arbitrage are in the first couple pages. So this is gonna get us really good results really fast. 
That's why I started doing this method. Now, the bonus of it actually finding more results seems to be a pretty good, uh, good uh, side effect of this. But um, then it's going to get to the end and it's going to start on each category where it left off before and so on. Now we want to just go in and add these to the end here. Uh, let's do nine and then uh, we'll cap this out at 25 pages. Now again, as we go through, we are definitely going to have categories where it's going to search and be like, oh, there's not a page 25 of this category and it's just going to skip them. I don't know what the delay is anymore. It used to be 15 seconds. So all it does is it's just going to hang for 15 seconds and then it's going to be done. So this is actually very efficient. We're letting the software work for us. This bulk list probably will take several hours to run, but why do we care? We don't have to sit there and babysit this thing. So we're going to run it just like this. This is exactly how I'm going to run this bulk list. And uh, I'm going to find a ton of stuff with this. I'm looking at this uh, buy two, get one free sale. There's all sorts of great stuff here. Um, and it's going to really deeply go into uh, what's going to be available from uh, Target for sale on Amazon. So that's how I do these. Then I would save it and then upload it to Tactical Arbitrage. That's all standard. Uh, nothing about this is special. Okay. And when you make a bulk list like this, you can make this multi uh a multi-domain bulk list where you could be running dozens of different sites at a time uh i like to use tactical uh tactical search engine the tactical search engine which is by chris grant and uh, nate McAllister. and what that actually will do is you know if you search like toys through that you find all the toy categories of all the websites in tactical arbitrage and be able to just search those over and over again using this method so if you're, you know, on Friday, you want to search in, you know, Friday we buy toys, you start this search uh, Thursday night, you wake up Friday morning, it's already ran, it's probably three quarters of the way through or whatever, you know, depending on how big it is. And um, you can go in there and really find a lot of great stuff. So just a couple technical limitations to know about is that um, we can only do 500 lines, okay? So this is only 40 lines. So we're nowhere near the limit. Um, but, you know, just be aware of that, especially if you did a multi-domain uh, um, bulk list like this, you could end up pretty quickly at uh, a lot of lines uh, very quickly. So just keep that in mind. And this is not the most efficient way to scan things necessarily. If I was going to really run a bulk list every day, um, you know, and make like a big bulk list that I kept reusing. I might take some of these at the end out just to kind of like, I mean, like this, this category that we were looking at, I think it was the second to the bottom one. Like I don't need to run that a bunch of times because it's a short bulk list or it is a shorter category, a smaller category on target. But again, you know, if we're running this overnight, yeah, it's just a couple seconds delay here and there. Who really cares? We just made this, we leveraged our time where we're actually doing the work and making the spreadsheet and we're letting Tactical Arbitrage do the dirty work for us, which is what we should be doing, guys. I think people are buying Tactical Arbitrage and not making it do work. Like, make it do work. Let it work for you. It's a great piece of software. Okay, so that's how we do this bulk list and I hope that this was helpful. Uh, I've been doing this for years, and I have not only found that it finds me good results faster, but it finds me more results than if I just ran a regular bulk list or just ran the categories. I don't know why that's true, but experiment and verify what I've shown you. So try it out. Okay, guys, so here's how we get this to run. It was pretty basic. We uploaded it. I already chose the file. We click upload, it's gonna automatically find our start and everything that we needed here, just like I put in. Click on upload. And then we do have to select the domain from the dropdown only because I didn't enter a domain column. If I would have done that, I wouldn't need to do that. And I'm going to adjust my source price, which is 33% off. And as always, we always just want to start the search and confirm that it is actually finding results. 
uh, before we walk away because unfortunately that can be something that happens where we run it there's some sort of error and we don't get anything uh, we see bulk row 1 through 39 and it's running the first three pages of our first category let's see how this goes make sure that this works boom goes the dynamite guys okay so I hope that this was uh, helpful I hope that you try this out. This is the way that I make bulk lists and I've been doing it for years and I get really good results with this. This is something that when I do coaching for people on tactical arbitrage, I teach them this. This is kind of one of my little secrets and uh, anybody that watches this video, you're now gonna know the secret. So why don't you like and subscribe as a big thank you to me and uh, also use this, make a lot of money, make me proud of you. Anyway guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.